Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of the polysaccharide glycogen. You should then be able to explain how the structure of glycogen relates to its function in cells. In the last couple of videos we looked at the role of starch as a store of glucose in plant cells. We saw that starch consists of two molecules, amylose and amylopectin. Both of these molecules are polymers of alpha glucose. Amylose is an unbranched polymer, whereas amylopectin contains a large number of branches. Now, just like plants, animals also contain a glucose storage molecule. In animals, the glucose storage molecule is called glycogen, and the major stores of glycogen are found in the liver and in muscle cells. I'm showing you the structure of glycogen here. Glycogen is a polymer of alpha glucose. Most of the alpha glucose molecules are joined by 1,4 glycosidic bonds. However, glycogen also contains branches, and the glucose molecules at the branch points are joined by 1,6 glycosidic bonds. Now you'll notice that glycogen seems to have the same structure as amylopectin. The main difference is that glycogen is more branched than amylopectin, which makes glycogen a very compact molecule. And because glycogen's got a large number of branches, it's got a lot of free ends. This means that enzymes can convert glycogen back to glucose very rapidly. Now, this is important as animals often have a high rate of respiration, and the energy needs of animals can change rapidly. For example, an animal may have to move quickly to escape from a predator. If this happened, then the rate of respiration would increase, and glycogen in the animal's muscles could be rapidly converted to glucose to be used in respiration. Now, we've already seen that glucose is highly soluble in water, and because of this, a high concentration of glucose in a cell would cause water to enter by osmosis. Unlike glucose, glycogen is insoluble in water, and this means that glycogen does not draw water into cells by osmosis. And being a large molecule, glycogen cannot diffuse out of a cell. So all of these features make glycogen an ideal glucose storage molecule in animal cells. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe the structure of glycogen and explain how the structure relates to its function in cells. Thank you.